Okay, people, something's bothering me because um, let's let's just ask you a question. A simple one, I already know the outcome. So um, let's say you have to take a picture. And that picture you can take with a very expensive lens or you can buy a cheap version. Which one will you get? And of course, it's a cheap one, right? Less money, okay. Then why am I seeing you guys doing the exact opposite? What's up, guys? Kevin here. So nice seeing you again, really. Um, okay, that question uh, has to do with the fact that a while ago I came across um, these kind of photos. And all these pictures had to do with the release of a new lens, a very nice one, the Sony 135mm f1.8. And the reason why I wanted to discuss this topic with you guys uh, has to do with the fact that you don't need this fast, very expensive lens by the way, you don't need this lens for these kind of photos. In fact, I think you shouldn't even bother buying this lens for these kind of photos with artificial light. Don't get me wrong, I mean this lens is awesome. I mean 135mm with an f1.8, shallow depth of field, yes please. But for these kind of photos you really don't need that fast lens. So for this video I wanted to show you guys a cheap way, another way to get these kind of photos. And also, good timing now with the winter season, cold days, you all got those stay at home days, well, you can do this nice trick. Okay, so let's first analyze the photos we just saw. What are we seeing here? What do they have in common? Okay, first the out of focus background and the very sharp in focus subject. Mostly medium shots, uh, portrait shots, shot with a narrow, uh, of course, the 135 focal length. As you can see, there's no context. They all have that two dimensional look. And that's the very important part because just look at these photos I took. Yeah, it looks the same, right? That's what I mean. Uh, the funny thing is, these are totally fake and I will show you how I made them. Okay, so here's the background, a little behind the scenes making off. As you can see here, nothing fancy. I'm standing here beside my, uh, my desk. Um, uh, just taking some random shots of myself with uh, the, the headphones. Um, just using normal daylight, just to show you how easy it is. And the same goes for the uh, retro camera. I uh, just uh, took a shot on the other side, also with the window lighting. Um, as you can see here, I'm taking a few shots with different angles and it's very important. I will come back to that later. And then the next step is you, you choose your background, your fake background. Well, I shot several backgrounds, blurry backgrounds. The one I'm choosing here with my, uh, my portrait is uh, a shot of uh, Starbucks. I was there with my wife um, and just took some random shots of the background. And there you go. So the reason why I'm choosing this one is because it matches with the look I wanted to get. So uh, what you do is uh, go in Photoshop, do some, uh, some cropping, some magic, whatever, filters and uh, lighting, etc. And then there you have it, a really nice photo. You can see what it, what it is and you can't even notice that it's fake because it has the same look as it was, as if it was shot with the uh, 135 or something like that. Okay, and same with uh, the retro camera. I went for another blurry background that I shot and as you can see here, it really matches with the subject. And that has to do with the fact that I took several angles. Very important when you're shooting several angles, then you have something to choose from because the perspective and the angle has to match with the perspective and the angle in which the background was shot. If you're choosing a background that you shot like way up or uh, angle down, and you're uh, doing the opposite with the uh, the subject or the something, uh, the, the camera you're putting in front of it, then you can see that's fake. So you don't want that, match it with each other, and then it looks real. So the other thing you have to do is say, uh, yeah, go in Photoshop and go ahead, and, and there you go. And also a very important note is that you have to choose a focal length from at least 80 mil or higher. Otherwise, um, it won't match with the background and that 2D fake look kind of photo. Yeah, and there you have it. Nice creative thing you can do at your cold stay at home winter days. Disclaimer, very important, that lens, that Sony lens is awesome. I mean, awesome. Uh, I would love to shoot with that lens, but please don't use it for these kind of 2D look fake artificial lighting photos because it's not necessary. I mean, come on, use it for other purposes, but not this, please don't. So guys, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, thoughts, other tricks, whatever, please leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Very important. Even use the notification bell. And uh, guys, I will see you next one.